Hi, I'm Carmine Gallo. Communication is power. If you can persuade, inspire, and ignite the imagination, you'll be more successful. I'm honored that Gino has chosen my new book, Five Stars, to highlight in this video series. Gino? Thanks, Carmine. I'm excited to get started on this Thoughts on Leadership series all about your new book, Five Stars, the communication secrets to get from good to great. You know, I've listened to this book several times and every time I do, I learn more and more about the art of communication, persuasion, and storytelling. Over the next four weeks, we'll be breaking down my favorite takeaways from the book, but today, I want to focus on the power of ideas and how, even in a world dominated by digital, taken over by technology, ideas and the way we tell them are essential in business and life. Throughout the book, Carmine builds a case that we all have the gift of expert communication and that it's a skill more necessary to acquire than ever before. As Carmine writes, Today, anyone who is a little better at expressing their ideas can see a sudden, massive increase in wealth that is unprecedented in human history. He explains that in the 21st century knowledge economy, we are only as valuable as our ideas. The ability to convince others that your ideas matter is the single greatest skill you can possess. Carmine says it will give you a competitive edge at a time when the combined forces of globalization, automation, and artificial intelligence trigger a wave of anxiety across every profession in every country. Remember, artificial intelligence doesn't think like a human does. The skills that give humans an edge over machines are our creativity, imagination, and ability to communicate our stories and create an emotional impact. Oxford researchers have concluded that automation will eliminate 47% of jobs that humans do today within the next decade. But if you have the ability to communicate and do all the creative things a machine can't, you'll never be replaced. Machines don't have a heart, as Carmine writes, storytellers do. In fact, a recent Harvard Business Report found that highly skilled workers command higher incomes because of three capabilities. Number one, the ability to perform tasks quickly. Number two, their experience in evaluating data to determine a course of action. And number three, the savviness in helping clients navigate the course. In other words, they can communicate complex ideas simply and help clients find success. Think about Neil deGrasse Tyson, the American astrophysicist and author He's a five-star communicator because he makes learning about astronomy so much fun. He calls his style of communication the manifestation of curiosity. He is passionate about discovering and sharing knowledge, and that comes across in a way he communicates his story to an audience always wanting more. I love this quote from chapter one. Ideas built the modern world, and it's the power of ideas that will build the world of tomorrow. But ideas, in the absence of eloquence, will fall on deaf ears. One of the most eloquent communicators in history was John F. Kennedy, also a personal hero of mine. When he wanted to land a man on the moon, he reduced NASA's aspirations to one single wildly important goal expressed in the classic, send humans to the moon, that's X, return them home safely to Earth, that's Y, before the end of the decade, that's when. The simplicity and clear expression of this goal motivated those working on the endeavor to accomplish it, and they did. Kennedy was an ideas man. He is famously quoted as saying, a man may die, nations may rise and fall, but ideas live on. So what's the message? Yes, we're in an era saturated by big data, technology, and artificial intelligence. But now, more than ever, Expert communication skills are held in high regard. And communicating effectively is no easy task. You are trying to get someone to buy into your story. Jeff Rolston, who built Yahoo Mail, is quoted in Carmine's book as saying, anytime you try to sell something to somebody, you're selling a dream. You're asking them to become part of your story. Because ultimately, if you can convince someone to believe in your dream, what you're really saying is that their dreams, whatever they may be, are also possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.
for part two.